This is a quick demo of the Icons plugin for Tailspire. The Icons plugin adds the ability to, to toggle icons on the mini base on and off. You can select from a number of different icons from a GUI menu. So we can see here a couple of uh, minis and on the base they have uh, different icons. When you hit, when you select a, a mini and hit Control I, the default uh, shortcut, you will get uh, a menu of different icons. Uh, these icons can be uh, customized. Uh, if the icon is already present, it will toggle it off. If it is not present, it will add it. The base supports up to three icons that can be displayed at once. So uh, if I do this poison, you can see now I've gone to one icon because the other one was already present. If I add something like fire, and I can add up to a third one. Um, same thing if I grab this mini, I can remove that one. I can add another one and add another one. Uh, there are two different modes with uh, the <clears throat> icon plugin. The high performance mode updates minis uh, all the time. And you can see that uh, it's designed so that the icons are always facing the user regardless of the orientation of the mini. So, so you can see I can turn the mini all around, but the icons remain facing. And that is even true for the camera. So when I rotate my view, you can see that the icons rotate with the view so that they're always facing the camera. Now in low performance mode, uh, the updates are only done when uh, a player drops um, the mini. So what that means <coughs> is that um, while the player is moving his mini or her mini, um, the other players may actually see uh, the mini moving but the icons not and until the uh, whoever's move, making the move drops that uh, mini uh, the icons will update. Uh, the reason for the uh, secondary mode is uh, that the high performance mode is updating all the minis and if you have a lot of minis that have uh, some icons it can be very taxing on the CPU. So in that case, uh, if your device is not so powerful, you can switch to the uh, low performance mode, which, uh, as I said, has some limitations on when it updates, but it will give you the same kind of functionality, um, uh, just with uh, less CPU. Uh, in lo low performance mode, when you uh, uh, turn your view around, you can see right now it's happening for all my minis. Uh, in low performance mode, you would see that only the selected mini is updating the rotation. The other minis would not, but as soon as you click on them, uh, it would up to, uh, update the rotation so that the uh, symbols are always facing you. And uh, that's pretty well it. Uh, for reference, I have uh, right now loaded the same scene with the low performance mode. So one of the limitations, you can see that when the scene loaded, I do not see any icons on any of the minis. Uh, that's because the mini is updated only when selected. So when I click on any of the minis, I now get their um, icons. Uh, similarly, you can see that when I rotate the camera, you can see that the selected uh, mini is updating the icons so that they're always facing the user but any uh, mini that is not selected is not. As soon as I select that mini, it will update to uh, rotate the icons in the direction of the, uh, of the user. So those are kind of the limitations of the uh, low performance mode, but once again, uh, it is less taxing on the CPU. So if you have a device that's not very powerful, uh, then the low performance mode is what you want to use. It should also be noted that different clients can use different modes and it won't uh, matter. So 
uh, if players are playing together and some of them have high performance uh, devices and some have low, uh, they can use whichever mode uh, they uh, is appropriate for their device and uh, the, the low performance and the high performance will work with each other. Yeah, so that's about it.